Hey guys, Rob here, and today I'm reviewing Mega Man Chronicles The Capture. Like I have been doing reviewing bad Mega Man fan games. So let's just begin. Normal mode, boom, let's go. So as you can see, you can see why the game's bad already. I don't have to explain it that much. Well, why it's bad, let's begin. Mega Man sprite looks horrible. Like, one of his arms isn't even even to his other arm. It's like bulging out like some deformed looking creature. He doesn't even have a face. His sprite just looks like ass. And uh, both of his legs aren't even even. So, that being said, we can't expect much of this game. This is supposed to be the tutorial stage. Blah blah blah, shoot this up, shoot that up. Press la tells you all the little things about oh, that's weapon energy, that's health. Well, I like how the life looks. <laughs> Look at that. Like it's just <laughs> looks like Mega Man's high or something. This game is already just a joke, I can tell. So uh, here you have all the mans: Light Man, Gold Man, Pyro Man, and Something Man. I can't see his name because uh, my frame counters in the way. Frame rate counters in the way of his man. But he, he was Chaos Man. So, uh, before when I was doing this, because I played this before when I was going to review it, and uh, I didn't play the whole thing, but I played Chaos Man, and what happens is you do a stage, the stage is a pain in the butt, and then when you get to him, the boss has no pattern at all, and he kills you three times in a row. So, I don't want to go through that again, although I'd like to show you it through the video. Instead, we're going to go to the boss that I know I can beat already, which is going to be Gold Man. Wait, Cold Man? Uh, why did I say Gold Man? Alright, Cold Man, whatever. He just looks like you, with the dark face. Why did I... what is that? Wait a second. Let me see. The enemies have, like, health bars. I don't know why that's necessary. It just makes the game even more ugly. Like, a floating... this guy is annoying, isn't it? Shoot the crap out of him. Shoot the man. You got this green guy, he looks like a drug dealer or something. He's bouncing all around. Ah! There's a life over there? I didn't even see it. That's pretty cool. Yes. Anyways, the graphics look like shit. Enemies look like shit. Looks like an Atari game. Then you got this screen here. You got those blue those blue balls guys they literally look like a, just a blue ball and in this screen it looks like nice like that like the person actually put effort into the game but you can't even see your buster which is annoying like why would you make a screen in the game I guess it's like a snow map but you can't even see where your busters go then you go up here you going and going then you go here, and then you have a door, or a ladder, or something. And you can't move on. What the hell is about that? Stages are supposed to be in a fluent way. You're supposed to be able to know where you're going. It's supposed to be linear, like, oh, I have to go up on this spot. So I have to go up, right? No. You can't move on. So let's get out of here. Let's try over here. No. Nope. Just a wall. Alright, I guess let's go down here. Okay, this is where you have to go. So hold on a minute. The map is all going in that direction up. But then, for some reason, you have to go down here. That doesn't make any sense. But let's just keep going. Then you got water. Moving water that's going up here. It's annoying. You don't have any time to react to the enemies, really. They're just, just gonna get shot. I get that right? Alright, I got the right. That's cool. That's cool. So I guess the game is playable. It plays like Mega Man 2. I forgot that there was a charge shot actually. Which has this cool looking effect. Where he turns off, you know. Oh! Well, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh! Keep going, keep going, you know. 
Gameplay is fine, pretty fine. Aesthetically, it's it's got to be the ugliest Mega Man fan game I ever saw. I was going to review Fall of 21XX, but <clears throat> that game doesn't even want to record. That game is a piece of shit altogether. Some people like Fall of 21XX, but honestly, the way that the game is level design is so bad that you there's too many enemies on screen, and it's another game like Mega Man Perfect Harmony. Over here, I found out that you can go through this wall here, and you can get the health. But why would that matter anyway? Because I have four health. The enemies look like shit. Like, what is that? Is that like some gem or something? What am I shooting at? None of the enemies, except the Metars, look like Mega Man enemies. They all look like shit. <laughs> Alright, let's just keep going. What? Mega Man jumps like he's Mario. He has like his hand in the air. What's the point of the health bar if you can take them out in one hit? Then you got a power up here that you gotta beat Chaos Man again, I assume, because he needs Chaos Tiles. Looks like a bag of piss, but you can't get it anyway. So. Let's just move on. This enemy isn't even put in a good spot. You can't even threaten me, you're like stuck in the wall. Then you got the blue gem guys. Shoot them. Long jump. Here's the boss door. And having fought this boss already, I know he's easy, he has a basic pattern. Just shoot the crap out of him. Even when you're frozen, you can shoot him, so what is the boss able to do? Boss sucks. That boss sucks. Just the same. Alright, you got the cold game, good. Let's try uh, Pyro Man because this review is going to be kind of on the short side. You know, it'll be on the short side if I do only one level. Even the Metars don't even look good. Ooh, a fiery gem, watch out. Seriously, what happens to all the Mega Man 2 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 6 and 7 and 8 enemies? that have unique names and unique attack patterns. Instead, you got uh, some fiery gem going down. Something that looks like a volcano. And you got a Metar that doesn't even look properly sprited, either. You got more fiery gems. Alright, what do we have here? Fiery Gem coming so slow that he's not even a threat at all. We got a long shitty jump here. Once again, the level follows no linear pattern. I don't know where I'm going. Over go here? Okay, I have to go backwards. Why? Why is that? I don't know. Ah, he shot me down. Whatever. Move the level along faster. How was I supposed to know that was going to collapse? You don't have a lot of time to be on that on those platforms. You got some type of volcano thingy. Ah. You got another slowly moving fire gem. Why do all these gems hate? In fact, how are the gems even move? They're like levitating in the air. What are they supposed to be? I have no clue. The enemy design just looks like total ass. Other than that, the game plays pretty fine. But honestly, the game just looks like a joke. You know, game plays like Mega Man. So actually, I don't have a lot of rage in this review. Though Chaos Man gave me a lot of rage, 
but I had to sit there and just die to him all three of my lives. What's this about? Are these things invisible? So I can... Wait a sec, so why are they like faded? I don't, I don't understand. Doesn't make any sense. This boss just looks like a giant moon with, with two uh, spiky knives for some reason. I don't know, the moon's mad. What is this, Majora's Mask? You can shoot them with some lasers. And typical, sometimes they hit, sometimes they don't hit. Hey, the boss? Seriously, that's supposed to be Pyro Man? Wait, that isn't a boss? So what? Who the fuck was that then? What did we get through doing that? Did we get more health? Wait a sec. There's nothing even on my screen, so what did I even get? I got, uh, the. That looks like a boot or something? I don't know, does it make me go faster? I don't even know what's going on in this game. That's not the boss, so, so who the fuck is the boss then? Uh, I guess this is just a, a random door. I don't know, let's just go this way. I guess, I don't, I don't know where to go. I think I went this way already. Going backwards, actually. Okay, so there's the boss door is like down here. It's like hidden. I'm getting confused. Pyro Man. He just looks like a, a red-colored Mega Man once again. He's a little harder. Seriously, I have his weakness and it's not making the fight any easier. That is annoying. Ah. Seriously, how do I die to a boss when I have his weakness? Only in this game. The boss does seem to have some sort of pattern, but it's too annoying for me to care about. It. And, and the weapon is, sh is kind of shitty too. Like when I shoot the weapon, sometimes it curves over his head. Why? Why? Why does that happen? If we shot a weapon and then and the weapon and it doesn't even hit the fucking boss, but he can shoot out like a million fucking fireballs, it doesn't even make any fucking sense. Why is the boss hard when you have his weakness? Every time I try to shoot him, he goes up on that fucking wall and he shoots him out. Ah! Whew! Challenging, but boring. You got the pyro can. Okay, anyways. This game sucks. And I, j I really just think this game's a joke. I mean, all the enemies just look like a, a recolored Mega Man. The Mega Man sprite looks like ass. Uh, the game is just really ugly. The game would be a good game if they just, you know, made it into like a, a game that actually looks like a Mega Man game. Uh, Rob out. Take, take care, you guys.